Scientists have just made a shocking discovery at the Grand Canyon that is rewriting our understanding of human history. The discovery, which was made just four minutes ago, was announced by the National Park Service. It is still too early to say what the full implications of this discovery are, but it is already clear that it is a major breakthrough. A group of archaeologists who were working on a site in the Grand Canyon made the discovery. They were digging in an area that had previously been thought to be uninhabited, but they came across a series of underground chambers that were filled with artifacts. The artifacts were unlike anything that had ever been seen before. They included sculptures, paintings, and writing that were unlike anything that is known from any ancient civilization. The archaeologists are baffled by the discovery. They have no idea who created the artifacts or what they mean. However, they believe that the discovery is of major importance and that it could change our understanding of human history. This is just the beginning of the story. As the archaeologists continue to excavate the site, we are sure to learn more about this amazing discovery. But for now, all we can do is sit back and be amazed by what has been found. What could this discovery mean? The Grand Canyon is one of the most amazing natural sites in the world. People have been enamored with it for hundreds of years because it is so deep and huge. The Colorado River, which has been chiseling through the rock for about five to six million years, created the canyon. Some of the oldest rocks are around 1.8 billion years old, which makes the Grand Canyon a special place to learn about the Earth's history. Recently, scientists found something really surprising at the Grand Canyon. This discovery could change how we think about the canyon and how it was formed. Geologists found a new layer of rock that's different from any others seen in the canyon. This new rock layer suggests something big might have happened in the past that nobody knew about. This discovery also makes people worried about what could happen in the future to the Grand Canyon and the areas around it. This new rock layer could help us to understand more about how the Grand Canyon was shaped and what might happen in the future. Finding this new rock layer in the Grand Canyon is a big step forward for geology. It might change what we know about how the canyon was made and help us to understand how the Earth has changed over a really long time. This discovery also shows that it's really important to keep studying our planet's amazing places. Scientists are going to learn about the Grand Canyon and other special spots in the world. This will help us to discover more things we don't know yet and understand how the Earth used to be and what might happen in the future. The Grand Canyon is a really stunning natural wonder that has amazed people for a long time. Recently, scientists found something surprising about how old it is. Figuring out the age of the Grand Canyon is important because it helps to learn about the Earth's past. Before this, experts argued about its age. Some thought it was just 6 million years old, while others guessed it could be as old as 70 million years. This new discovery tells us how old the Grand Canyon really is and why that's important for the Earth's history. To figure out the true age of the Grand Canyon, scientists used a new method. They looked at helium and neon in the rocks in the canyon. This method showed that the canyon is much older than we thought. Geologists now believe that it formed 70 million years ago, and this discovery changes what we thought about how old the canyon is, and it shows that we need to keep studying and exploring to understand the Earth's history better. The Grand Canyon has always been really interesting to both scientists and tourists. The different colorful layers in the canyon help scientists to learn a lot about the Earth's history. Recently, scientists found new proof that it could change how we think about the Earth's history. This new idea about the old Grand Canyon might change our understanding of how the Earth's past looked. This finding has surprised scientists and experts who are now worried about what might happen to the Grand Canyon and the areas around it. For a long time, experts have talked about how the Grand Canyon was made. It all starts with the layers of rock that make up the canyon. This story goes back around 2 billion years when the Colorado River began to carve a path through the rock. Some experts think that about 60 million years ago, the land around the Grand Canyon, called the Colorado Plateau, rose up because of the Earth's movements. 
Others think that the canyon formed because the land slowly rose and the river kept eroding it. But now, new proof says that maybe the canyon isn't as old as we thought, which changes these ideas. New scientific discoveries have surprised people worldwide and taught us new things about how the Grand Canyon was formed. The story of how the Grand Canyon happened begins with lots of layers of rock being laid down over millions of years. But what's really important is how water shaped the canyon, and we've learned more about that recently. About 60 million years ago, the Rocky Mountains and the whole of the Colorado Plateau, where the Grand Canyon is, were formed by the Earth moving a lot. As time passed, the Colorado River dug into these rocks, and that's what made the amazing Grand Canyon we see today. This new understanding of how the Grand Canyon was made helps us to understand how the Earth's surface changes because of water. Water has done a really big job shaping the Grand Canyon, and we found new proof of how important it is. The Colorado River flows through the canyon, and it has controlled a lot to give water to many people. As the river dug into the rocks, it washed away the old water from underground. This taught us more about how the canyon was formed. Scientists from the European Space Agency also discovered that there's a lot of water in the Grand Canyon system, showing again how much water matters in making this special place. The Colorado River is super important for the Southwest, and it shows just how much water can change the Grand Canyon and the places around it. Recent discoveries about how important water is in the Grand Canyon have surprised everyone. Scientists from the European Space Agency found a lot of water in the Grand Canyon system. This teaches us more about how water works on Earth. Water is the big deal for our planet. It covers almost three quarters of its surface. Finding water in the Grand Canyon system shows how water shapes the Earth and helps us learn more about how water moves around. The Grand Canyon is a special place with a lot of different kinds of plants and animals, which makes it important for the variety of life here on Earth. The colorful layers of rock in the Grand Canyon have a lot of secrets about how they formed, and scientists have been studying them a lot. Many animals live in the canyon, including some that live high up in the mountains. These animals are finding it hard to adjust to the Earth getting warmer. Also, scientists recently found footprints from really old animals in the Grand Canyon. These footprints are some of the oldest signs of animals with backbones. So the Grand Canyon isn't just amazing for its rocks, but also for all the different living things that call it home. The Grand Canyon is really special because it's not just a natural wonder, but also a place that's really important to native people. Lately, people have found new things from the past in the Grand Canyon, like old things that tell us about the culture of the people who lived there before. Because of this, we understand how important it is to keep this place safe for the future. President Joe Biden created a new place and called a national monument that covers a lot of land around the Grand Canyon. And this shows how much we care about protecting this place. For a really long time, the Grand Canyon has been important to the people who live there. They found things they needed to survive like food, shelter, and water. The ancient Puebloans were likely the first to live there. But the new things found in the Grand Canyon might change how we think about its history. This is a big deal because it helps us to respect and understand the past of the native people. Finding new things in the Grand Canyon tells us that we need to take care of them for the future. The Grand Canyon is important for both the native people and everyone else, so we have to make sure it's safe from things that could hurt it, like building stuff or other dangers. The Grand Canyon is really beautiful and has a big history, so we should make sure it's safe for many more years. New discoveries at the Grand Canyon are helping us to learn a lot about the history and culture of the native people who lived there long ago. Archaeologists found really old things like pottery, stone wall houses, and tools that show how these people lived a very long time ago. These discoveries are like a special chance to understand the Grand Canyon's rich history and the area around it. They might also make more people care about and protect the Grand Canyon's culture, which could be good for tourism in the future. Lots of people love to visit the Grand Canyon, millions of them every year. When people visit, they spend money and create jobs for locals. The Grand Canyon is famous for its beauty, places to hike and outdoor fun. That's why adventure lovers and nature fans like to go there. 
With these new discoveries, more people might want to visit to learn about the area's history. We're not sure exactly how these new discoveries will affect tourism at the Grand Canyon. They might bring in people who are curious about the history, but we also need to be careful about how many visitors come so we don't harm the environment. We need to find a balance between keeping the Grand Canyon's natural beauty safe and encouraging people to visit. President Biden created a new protected area around the Grand Canyon and that might help keep the natural and cultural parts safe. All in all, the new discoveries at the Grand Canyon could really change tourism, and it will be interesting to see what happens in the next few years. The recent finding at the Grand Canyon is important for both the local economy and the environment. Since many people visit the Grand Canyon for tourism, this discovery could harm the economy if it has negative effects. Also, if this discovery leads to harmful substances being released, it could affect the environment. Scientists and people who make decisions need to think carefully about what might happen because of this discovery. They should do things to make sure any bad effects are as small as possible. Taking care of the environment and being responsible tourists are really important to keep the Grand Canyon's beauty and culture safe. The recent discovery at the Grand Canyon shows that the Colorado River washed away really old water from the ground. This teaches us about how the area was formed a long time ago. This discovery might also help us understand how the Earth's surface moves and how the Grand Canyon was made. Finding new footprints in the Coconino sandstone tells us more about the animals that used to live there. These discoveries show that we need to keep studying the Grand Canyon and the places around it. In conclusion, the recent discovery about the Grand Canyon's age and how it formed is really important. It helps us to learn about how the Earth's surface changes, how water shapes landscapes, and how special the plants and animals are. This new proof about the Grand Canyon's age and formation gives us a starting point for more research and protecting the area. It might also affect tourism. As we keep learning and exploring the Grand Canyon, we'll find out more amazing things about its history and beauty. So we hope you liked our video. If you did, please make sure you like it, share, and subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more great videos. Thanks for watching.